Welcome to Vulture's Secret History of Television. This week's entry, Superhero Shows. Filed under, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's a phenomenon. Live-action superhero shows have been a part of television almost since its inception, but only in the past few years has the small screen truly matched the splash page of comics. You can trace the origins of these shows to Adventures of Superman, produced in syndication starting in 1952. It was a low-budget but highly popular program, even if its effects weren't exactly top-notch by today's standards. No. I don't believe it. In 1966, the black and white world of Superman was replaced by the pop art explosion of ABC's Batman, a show that, at its height, aired two episodes each week. It was intentionally campy and defined the Cape Crusader in pop culture consciousness. It's even funnier than the Joker. Spin-offs including Captain Nice and the Green Hornet soon imitated Batman's style. By the 1970s, superhero shows were big business. There were adaptations of comics like Wonder Woman and The Incredible Hulk, but there were also characters created just for TV, like The Six Million Dollar Man, The Bionic Woman, and eventually ABC's 1981 comedy drama, The Greatest American Hero. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. However, small screen adaptations of Spider Man, Captain America, and Doctor Strange all failed, as these shows couldn't come close to replicating their visually thrilling source material. Even CBS's 1990 version of The Flash disappeared in, well, The Flash, partly due to its lackluster depiction of the world's fastest man. I'm only here long enough to see that you're put back in jail where you belong. Two Superman centric shows were all that kept the genre alive after those dark years. Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman, found success in 1993 by mixing action with romantic comedy. Smallville had a decade-long run on the WB and the CW and emphasized teen drama over universe-spanning heroics. Superhero shows have exploded in popularity in the past 10 years. Better CGI has coupled with heavy comic industry involvement and led to shows that pack a mean punch. The CW's lineup of Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow offer gorgeous-looking spins on a shared universe. Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ties into the mega-hit Avengers movies, as does Netflix's Daredevil. The boom in superhero TV is nowhere near over, and 60 years after Superman first flew on TV, Supergirl is poised to take flight. You, uh, you sure you're bulletproof? Hope so. Tune in Wednesdays for more entries in Vulture's secret history of television.